Hi ladies, I'm back again and um, I'm going to show you the things that I'm taking and the things I'm replacing it with. Now, the things I'm replacing it with are going to be wrapped up a lot nicer, but I wanted to be able to show the stuff without having to rip everything apart. So, um, this is one thing I'm taking. This is that little jar. I think this, I think this was Rebecca Morton, but I, there's no, I'm pretty sure it was. Anyways. It's just that little bag with all the little bling and all that stuff in there. So I'm, I'm not opening all this stuff up again because, uh, I mean, if you need to remember what was in these things, just look at the last video. So anyways, this is what I'm taking. And this is what I'm replacing it with. I have this little uh, handmade box. Well, the box isn't handmade, but I, I did all the decorating on it and altered it. Uh, it's got a little ribbon going across, and this is all one. Let me see if I can get this a little bit better. There. It has an um, applique with a little doily under, and um, a little butterfly on. And this, these little butterflies are from Renee's Bouquet, Bouquets, Renee's Bouquets, I think. And she's on Etsy. She's got the cutest little butterflies, and they're all sugared with uh, glitter. This, uh, I think it's called sugar glitter, as a matter of fact. But anyways, they're just darling, and they're so much fun to put on, especially if you like shabby chic like I do. And... Inside of here, I have another little Renee's Bouquet butterfly. I have some Baker's Twine. I have a little bag, I think there's 10 in here, of those little dainty um, clay flowers, female clay flowers. I love these things. I use them on on everything and they're so cute. I have a piece of, this is a peachy dangly um, lace and then I have one of my, this is a homemade flower. It's all made with doilies. It's pretty thick and plush. Anyways, and then it's got that pretty little, um, what do you call it in the middle? Anyways, this is the inside of the box. And that just tucks down in there, and that tucks in there. These. These. Then there's a, uh, this is a little glitter bowl with a flower in it, a piece of um, vintage um, trim, there's a doily, there's a pretty butterfly, oh no that's a bee, I'm sorry. <laughs> A uh, piece of burlap here with, um, with some uh, button trim. If anybody does anything with burlap. Okay, there's that. Um, there's this um, laser cut uh, frame. This was from Michaels. It's all laser cut. And it's quite large. It's probably... It's, gonna, it's pretty close to 12 inches. Just shy of 12 inches. So it's a good size. And then this is 
a bag that I put together. It's just, um, it's open at the top. And inside, on the outside, I've, I've just got some, let me get closer, some trim going around here. Um, this trim here on the outside. And then a pretty bow. This is my bow, or my uh, flower that I did. And then this wedding applique. And this is just pinned on. And inside, there is this, he's getting all crunched. This is this pretty Battenberg uh, bird. He hangs on a little piece of ribbon. But he'd be really cute all jazzed up. And um, then I made, this is a, um, snippet roll that I made. Just unhooks here. And it unrolls. I hope I can get this all. If I got it the right way, too. No, I don't. It's cut. This is the beginning. Or the end. <laughs> little. There's a little bo a bottle of um, magic dust. flower, some buttons, keys, and bling. And it's on this old roll that's got a, it's very old spool. And then, this is the back. It's got pretty shabby chic fabric. There's the little um, flower where it, it closes. And then just goes down like that. Oh no, here's the flower where it closes. And then you just wrap it back up. And there's a little hook here with some um, seam binding. And you just put it around the flower and close it. And that's my snippet roll. And then this goes in this little bag and I feel bad that he's getting all scrunched I gotta fold him better stick him right on the top here anyway then just pinch this just gets pinched back oh and the um, wedding applique on there and then I just you could put a different closure on there if you wanted to I just didn't and I don't have time to do it right now so but anyways that's the little bag with the snippet roll um, and that takes the place of the little jar with all the bling then I'm going to take this kit by Alyssa Carmony. This is the one that had all the, uh, it, it's really to make a little book, a little doily book or cupcake book. That's what the, it is. I found that out yesterday and I didn't, I didn't think about it being a kit. It's like a kit. So, and I showed that to you yesterday also, so uh, look back on your video if you don't remember what, because there's stuff all wrapped up in there. Anyway, I'm replacing it with, I've got, there's two of these. They're like a, a full, uh, one whole piece, but they have a division in them. And I have two of them here which would make, let's see, one, two, three, four, eight actual pages to do a doily book. But then, so there's two whole pieces of this. Then, 
this stuff all goes in this little uh, denim pocket. I also made this. It's got a little leaves down there and some more of the, the uh, dangle and a little flower with a, a little flower center. And there's some more bling over here on this side too. Can't see it. But anyway, that's that. And it's got, see it opens up like a little pocket. And I even, I put something on it that if you want to hang it, you can. If you don't want to, just, there, it's under two buttons. You can just take those right off from there if you want to. It's just glue. So anyways, that, and then all this stuff goes inside of here. These are little flowers that I crocheted and I just made into little embellishments. Here's a little bowl with some little dangles. And here's one of those flowers with the bowl with the little, little flowers on. And another little flower. Anyway, and then these are, there's enough to make two cupcake books here. This is a very uh, kind of a dark tan. And there's one, two, three, four of these here. Enough to make, like I say, a book. Thought I heard somebody. <laughs> Anyway, then, um, and there's this here, the lighter one. And this is enough to make, this is four, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, there's five. Oh, that's for the extra one. Hold on a minute. I'm wondering where this extra one came from because I thought I put four in each one. So there's actually five in each one. You have to make, a, you know, um, another cupcake book. So there's enough to make two cupcake books and a, a regular um, lace book. But anyways, I will make sure these are all put back in this pocket. It's a little tricky, so I'm going to wait until... But that's what I have to replace Alyssa Carmony's kit, which I love. I decided to take the pink kid gloves, surprise, they're pink, and it's with the hair piece, and I love these little shoes, so I had to have them. I think they're darling. And I'm replacing that with one of my um, pin cushions. It's got a little doily and flower down here. Trim around here. Real pretty shabby chic fabric. A bling. Wild orchid craft flowers. And then I made the stick pin and these are just two regular little pink pins in there. But that's what I'm replacing that with. see so that's one two three I'm replacing the I'm taking the um, alterable 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 piece hold on And I'm replacing it with, it'll be done ringing in a minute. Um, these are really nice alterable tins. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. They kind of can stack. And when they get altered, they're, they're really pretty because I've altered a set already and they're really, really are nice. And in there I put this trim. I put this flower that I made. It's real pretty different 
blue and purple. They, they blend really nice. Uh, I put a couple napkins in there. I put this little piece. It's just a little acrylic piece. But it's really cute. It's real soft pink. I put this little card of I'm sorry, beads and a piece of trim. It's like a turquoise color. It's not a dark turquoise, but it's a little kind of a medium, I guess I would say. other one and I've got there's a, p a piece this is a real heavy beaded piece it's just a piece but the edge it's really really heavy little applique and then there's a little bit of this and it's all put together with a some bling, but you can see there's, I don't know how much of it is, I don't want to take this apart, but uh, that's that, you can kind of see. So that's in there, it's kind of a peachy, dusty peachy color. Maybe it's pink. It might be pink. I have an awful time sometimes telling the difference between the peach and pink. Anyways, this is what I'm replacing the altar bowl item with. Okay, next I am going to take the lace tower and this goes with it. I found that out. This goes with it. So this goes down in here. And I'm replacing it with um, two doilies. What's this one? And this one. A homemade flower. It's a real, it's like a periwinkle color, really. It's. And then another one that I made. Um, an applique. Wedding applique. Two. Um, I think there's two, two napkins here. Now these aren't antique napkins, but they have lace around them and they could be making something very pretty. There's two of them there. And then these are a little unusual. They're little mats, or um, I guess you'd say doilies place mats. But these are all, these are all hand sewn on here. Kind of different. That and then there's a big one. See, you can see where the stitches are on the back of here. Really kind of unique. Okay, so that's what I'm replacing the lace tower with. And I'm going to be, like I say, these are all going to be wrapped real pretty, so I just couldn't see just tearing them all apart. Or, whoops. Okay. I'm not in room here. 
And then the lastly, I'm taking this box from um, Lisa Mar Morton. Martin. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. She said it last night, and it was Martis. I'm so Mortis or Martis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, this here, and I showed this again to you yesterday. It's all got the two of these in some flowers and up uh, another flower she made and some other but anyways like I say look back on the video and I'm replacing that with this heart that I made this is uh, again it's got another Renee's bouquet butterfly on it I just love these things and um, it's a big dried rose on here. Some baby's breath kind of stuff. Some um, a spray here. Darker uh, wild orchid craft flower. Some of these are not wild orchid. They're different. They're like a dried. Some other wild orchid. Um, a little bling here more of this and some trim here a little trim here then it's all trimmed out in this beaded trim some no I think I don't remember I think this was right on the fabric itself but anyway it doesn't matter um, and then again I have it to hang it's got uh, two buttons on the back with some, and you can hang it with that, but that's, that's that. So that's what I'm replacing that with. And this is, uh, about eight inches by six inches. It's a decent size heart. Okay. Um, I, some of the extras I took, um, I took two napkins. There's some in there for everybody to take. I took some of the ribbon. I took, um, I took a piece of this. took a piece of this, a little piece, and a piece of this. And those are all extras that you were welcome to take some of. And that's it for the extras that I took. Uh, and then everything else I showed yesterday in the video is all back in the box if I don't have it here. Um, I will be signing this um, today sometime and decorating a sheet, couple sheets of it. So I don't know if this goes in here or not, but it, it's in here. Dana did not sign this book, so I'm wondering if she might have put it in here because I think she made this. She might have put it in here for that. I don't know. But again, Dana, maybe you can let me know about that. You know what it reminds me of? I, I'm really dating myself, but does anybody remember Romper Room? <laughs> Where she used to say, Romper Stomper, Bomper Boo. Um, something about I see you. And then she'd start naming names. And one day she said my name, and I freaked. Just I was only about six years old. <laughs> I ran and told my mom. I said, her name was Miss, oh, shoot, Miss Martha or something like that. I said, Miss Martha sees me. She can see me. <laughs> but anyway, that's what that reminds me of. But it's very pretty. Hers was a mirror that she was looking in. 
Anyway, so enough of that. Uh, so I'm going to be signing this and uh, wrapping my stuff up, so I'll be getting that out in the next day or so. So um, I think that's it. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Oh, I know. I almost forgot about this stuff. Um, this is that bag. I totally did not see this yesterday. And here I'm looking right in. It's right in the screen. But it says, freebies. Please cut some if you want. Then pass it on to the next person, Lisa. But every there's a bunch of other stuff in here. Um, also, the stuff, the extra stuff. Uh, that you can take pieces of the fabric, you know, there's a lot more of this uh, The bows all that stuff I put in here just so it's easier to but this is all freebies that's in here And then I'm in closing this one in the box. This is a it says please return to Lisa This is to keep smoke smell at bay This is a like a sachet type thing that she put in there. It's really cute. Anyways, I'm enclosing this big box of flowers that I made. Some of them I think I made. I know I made that one. I know I made that one. Some of these are some of my first flowers. I know I made that one. That one. this one this one this one I don't think I made this it's a like a rolled rose these are just ones that I've had I made this one it's a little kind of a button flower Um, I made this one. Um, I made this one. You can tell some of these were before my my um, addiction to pink. Okay, this one. There's a bunch of them in here. This has got all different. This is kind of. All different colors in there. Um, this I made. No, I don't, I don't think I made that one. It needs a center. But somebody made it. It's handmade. You can see the. Um, there's this flower. It's a. Uh, I didn't make that either. This one I did make. Some of these got, you can straighten them out a little bit. They're, it's got, it's, it's kind of fluffy. I made this one. This one I did not make. That's another one of those fluffy flowers. This one I made. This is one of those burnt ones around the edges. Another one. I made this. This is a paper flower. This is, I crocheted this flower and made up. This one is not, this, I'm not sure where I got that from, but I did not make that one. I made this one. I made these, they're 
crocheted end paper. These are just, I think these are just like, uh, they're just paper. I need these. They're also crochet and paper. This one I did not make. It's very pretty though. It's a very pretty purple with the green leaves. It's pretty. This one I made, it's a rolled flower. It's kind of thick though. I, I didn't do a, I kind of did something not right here. I'm not sure, but it still would look nice and mixed in with something. This one I did not make. It's just a burlap flower. This one I made. And there's, oh, there's no center in this. It's just a fluffy one. You could put a center in if you wanted to. Call from USR Florida. Um, and then I made this little, this has got little, um, it's really cute. It's hard to see. Here's another, this is another burnt edge flower. I made that. And, oh, here's another one of those. I think I was practicing, but I still did the same thing. But <laughs> so, anyways, all these flowers in here, I'm sending on. And these are, take some and pass it on you know, whatever you want, but um, they're just ones that I'm not using, and I've got so many flowers that I've made, um, I've got kind of buckets of them, but, um, so anyways, I thought I would share all these stunning flowers, because everybody loves to stick a flower somewhere. So I'm going to enclose these. I'm going to put them in a different, something prettier than this. But anyway, that's it, ladies. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting that I wanted to say something. I don't know what, though. But I just want to say I've enjoyed this and would definitely do it again. I am going to host... Um, I talked to um, Doreen and some of the other girls, and I am going to host um, the next Traveling Treasures. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to wait until this is completely finished before I start that one. And I need some time to prepare because I want to make, I want to do some nice things. So, saying all that, uh, I'm going to limit it to uh, six people. And I would be the seventh, so there will be seven all told. And um, so if you want to start signing up, uh, well, maybe, maybe you should wait until I put it online. That gives the other ladies a chance. Because um, I'm going to take everybody in the order that I receive. But I'm... Please wait. I, I should not have said that. Please wait until I actually put it on Doreen's website that I'm going to host and how many people are going to be. Um, but at least you guys got a heads up to look for it. But I, um, I am going to wait, though, until I'm not going to take any names until I'm ready to take names. So, And I will tell you that if you, you know, if somebody's name comes in, I will reject them until the date I'm actually ready. So, um, that's all, ladies. And like I say, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Um, and uh, we'll see you on the next Traveling Treasures, hopefully. Bye-bye.